Hello everyone and welcome to Forensic Extract and today we will be discussing about seat belt injuries. So as we all know that seat belts are something that is a essential element of all the motor vehicles as well as various aircrafts. So first the American car manufacturer company Nash in 1949 and Ford in 1955. These two companies were offered seat belts to their customers. After that, one Swedish company, Saab, introduced seat belts. This was the company which introduced seat belts and made seat belts as standard in their vehicle so this was the first company which made seat belts as standard in their uh, in their motor vehicles the swedish company so seat belts are basically uh, various types so let's discuss different types of seat belts then we'll be discussing about action of seat belts then various injuries produced by seat belts and various legislations in india related to seat belts so Please do subscribe for Forensic Extract and press the bell icon and keep on watching. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. So let's discuss various types of seat belts. First one is a lab belt. So this is a lab belt, two point fixation belt, which goes across the vertical column and large vessels. So Injuries to lumbar spine as well as the large vessels is commonly seen in lab belt, and these are the belts which are uh, seen in aircrafts. And the second is sex strap, this goes diagonally across the upper body, and these kind of belts are responsible for whiplash injuries. So, whiplash injuries are commonly seen with these kind of belts because sudden flexion and hyper extension now the third type of belt is uh, the three point friction belt this is fixed at three points so this type of belt is commonly seen in various four wheelers so various four wheelers are inbuilt with uh, these kind of three point friction belts the fourth one is four point friction belt which is having this shoulder harness and lap belt so this is four point friction belt and the last one is five point friction belt which is having five points of fixation one point is uh, over there so these two belts are commonly seen in sports vehicles Sport. now the various actions of seat belts seat belts restrain the body in the motor vehicle and thus they prevent ejection now one important function is to increase they basically increase the uh, time of deceleration time of deceleration is extended due to distribution of g force over a wide area over a broad strap of seat belt against the body surface so due to distribution of that g force there is a reduction of g force and slightly extension of time of deceleration so these are the common actions of seat belts now there are various kind of injuries produced by seat belts so depending on the type of seat belts we will discuss uh, various injuries produced on the body so first is the mechanism so what happens due to abrupt deceleration abrupt deceleration is responsible for compression of abdominal content compression of abdominal contents and uh, bowel transaction injury to bowel so first is the due to this abrupt deceleration there is compression of abdominal content and bowel transaction now uh, the bowel transaction is commonly seen at 
the certain points which uh, where the bowel is fixed like ligament of treads ligament of treads and the ileocecal junction ileocecal junction these are the two points where bowel transection is commonly seen now uh, the other injuries can be produced due to compression of abdominal contents maybe uh, the rupture of viscera or rupture of uh, any other structure in the abdominal cavity now depending on the type of uh, the seat belt will uh, study various injuries produced on the body depending on the type of seat belts so first is the lap belt or lap strap lap strap is uh, responsible for various injuries to lumbar spine there may be injury to spleen rupture of spleen there may be injuries to various other organs like pancreas uh, urogenital organs like uterus there may be rupture of urethra there may be injury to various large vessels like iliac arteries aorta and all now the uh, injuries produced by shoulder harness shoulder belt or shoulder harness it produces various injuries uh, to ribs like rib fracture cervical spine fracture injuries to lumbar spine now injuries to sternum and may be injuries to deep organs like larynx and injury to liver spleen and kidneys these injuries may be in the form of contusions lacerations and all now the injuries produced by three point fixation three point seat belt this injuries are similar like fracture of ribs sternum clavicle injuries to uh, abdominal viscera like uh, jejunal and duodenal perforations so fractures bowel injuries fractures bowel injuries there may be contusions and abrasions on the chest so abrasions on the chest shoulder neck and back may also be seen in various kind of uh, seat belts now the most characteristic the most characteristic injury that is seen in seat belt is the uh, some something known as the triad of seat belt injuries so this triad consists of spinal trauma spinal trauma fracture of lumbar spine may be fracture of cervical spine and seat belt aorta there will be multiple tears in the intima of aorta that is known as seat belt aorta and third is bowel injuries bowel injuries so this triad is most characteristic it is most characteristic triad of seat belt injuries one more injury that is known as accidental strangulation these kind of strangulations are commonly seen in small children what happens that children may slip in and the that strap that shoulder strap may come across the uh, neck of the child suppose this is the shoulder strap and this is the lap belt so what happens uh, the child is sitting like this uh, and what happens uh, that after the sudden deceleration 
there is slipping of this uh, child and the this this shoulder strap come across the throat of the child and there may be accidental strangulation so these kind of uh, strangulations are commonly seen in children and as per the ministry of road traffic and highways there are about 5 lakhs road accidents occurred in india every year so 5 lakhs road accidents and in these 5 lakhs, around 1.5 lakhs people are killed in road traffic accidents. So this rate is quite high. Now the motor vehicle amendment act 2019 is implemented throughout the country since September 1st. 2019 and penalties various penalties has been increased 10 times various penalties for not wearing seat belts for over speeding and all they have increased the penalties 10 times in this uh, motor vehicle amendment act 2019 and the section 194 b of mva act fines rupees thousand for not wearing seat belts